Fertility sounds right, but... Yeah, no. moon. Can you imagine swimming through the sea of fertility? I don't, I don't think I'd like that. <laughs> <laughs> have you come to some sort of conclusion? We have. Yeah. OK. We think the sea of cleverness is the, the odd, odd one out. I think the sea of cleverness is the odd one out, Barry. The sea of cleverness is on the moon. Oh! As is the sea of crises and the sea of fertility. It's the really? sea of rainbows. That is the odd one out there. That's right, and it's Sean. Basically, these lunar seas are just solidified lava, really. So if you do happen to pop up there, leave your speedos at home for a start. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. 16% of the moon is covered with seas on the light side of the moon and the dark side of the moon. That's now by Pink Floyd. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the pavilion end. Here's your one too many. All of these animals can live to be 100 years old, oh. apart from an ocean quahog. An immortal jellyfish, African <laughs> elephant, and a Galapagos giant tortoise. Well, I don't think it's one of the middle two. We know the tortoise can. I think the tortoise can famously old. Go tortoise. Yeah, famously old. old. I think and El oysters, a quahog is like an oyster, isn't it? So, is it? Yeah. They can go for. 100 year old oyster? Yeah, they can go what forever. Oh, that's gamey. They... I think they. <laughs> yeah. no, 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 no. no, I mean, if they're an aphrodisiac, how horny is a 100 year oyster? Wow. I don't think an elephant. I think it's elephant. I would say elephant. I'm pretty sure I've not heard of a 100 year old elephant. They're old, but not that old. OK, elephant. Let's see if you're right, Chaz. And you know what? You're right. African elephant. African elephant, of course, they're the ones with the big ears. I'm not telling them. It's the largest land mammal on Earth and can live up to 70 years. An ocean quahog, they're 400 years old, some of them, so they're, they're in there. Yeah, 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 they're calculated to be 400 years old, so they're going, oh, I remember the old days before plastic, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> Did you leave your shell open all afternoon? <laughs> 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 OK, another one for the George. Here's your one too many. All of these are names of official mascots for football league clubs apart from Boilerman, Deepdale Duck, Sir Ramsbottom, Sammy the Shrimp. <laughs> Sammy the Shrimp <laughs> is in the Morecambe. We know you like your sport. Yeah. Yeah. Morecambe are known as the Shrimps, basically, yeah. aren't they? But that's right. not the Morecambe mascot there, but that doesn't mean to say there isn't somewhere else that's yeah. got a shrimp. Deep, right. Dick Dale Duck is, is at Preston. That's, yeah. that's the real one. That's only around the road from um, If a boiler is an actual mascot, some bloke's dressed as a boiler. Well, that's the mm. principle, but yeah. Well, well I mean, Sir well. Ramsbottom, is that a derby mascot? When it's there. It could be. Yeah, yeah. it could be. Boiler. <laughs> I was watching West Bromwich Albion the other night. They had I'd they say. were sponsored by a boiler firm, but I don't think. Were they? Yes, they were, yeah. So we go for Boilerman. Yeah, yeah, I think. think so. Going Boilerman. Boiler yeah. yeah. Okay, well the answer is Sir Ramsbottom. Right. Boilerman is a mascot for West Bromwich Albion. Oh my goodness me. Hey, and me. Following their sponsorship <laughs> deal with hull-based company Ideal Boilers. Yeah. That's right, it's a pilot scheme. Hey. Well, uh, fans, uh, oh. Get out! <laughs> get out of your quiz! <laughs> Thank God I'm in charge. <laughs> I'd send anyone else off for that. Derby's actual mascot is a ram called Rammy. Right. Here's one for the pavilion end. Here's your last one too many. All of these are recognised patron saints in the Christian faith, apart from one. Abigail, the patron saint of bigamists. Bibiana, the patron saint of hangovers. Isidore, patron saint of the internet. And Drogo, patron saint of unattractive people. Oh. oh. The internet does have a saint. Bibulism or something like that is yeah. over-drinking, yeah. isn't it? Mm. So that, yeah, yeah. Mm. Bibulous. Yeah. Under a prayer. So I reckon it might be... <laughs> what about Drogo? I don't, I don't know about Isidore. Unattractive people, uh, someone felt sorry for them. Well, bigamy can't be hugely well thought of by no. any... If it's Christian, surely. It's just, it's just down right wrong. Yeah. And how recently, you know, uh, for there to be a patron saint of the internet? I you just phone the Vatican and go... Hello, um, Pipe Fitter Welders, we need a saint, please. <laughs> we will sort a saint for you. Yeah, yeah. It's one for a saint. It happens exactly like that. You are being held in a queue. So? Your <laughs> saint is no, important to us. It really would be a saint. OK, do we have an answer? I think so. Yes, I think. Cecilia. Yeah. Abigail, she's the wrong one. She's the wrong one. She's the wrong one. Patron yeah. saint and bigamists, you're absolutely right. Oh! <laughs> St Bibiana is the patron saint of hangovers and millions of Britons celebrate St Bibiana's Day every morning. <laughs> yeah, she, was, sure. she was a martyr yeah. and apparently the, the herbs that sprung out of her grave were a well-known hangover cure and the herbs had a Latin name, bacon sarnius and a couple of paracetamolius. 